Yo, what's going to family and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing great and today bring you guys a player review of 95 overall tight end flashback edition Julius Thomas. Okay card. Check out the back of this one. It's got 6 foot 5, 92 speed, 78 strength, 68 run blocking, 94 catch, 87 release, 92 route running, 94 catch in traffic, and 96 spectacular catch flashback. Julius Thomas. Check out the attributes. Some attributes stand out to me that this guy has 96 spectacular catch, 94 catch in traffic, 92 speed, 95 acceleration, along with 91 agility. How do I feel about this card? The card is alright. Uh, he's not the best run blocker, and for a tight end, you need a run blocking person, I guess, if you're a run heavy type of individual. I feel like this card is definitely a one dimensional tight end. And one dimension, I mean, he doesn't pass block, he doesn't run block, he's not good in blocking at all. But when it comes to catching, he's actually really good. So that one dimension I'm talking about is his catching capabilities. He definitely holds onto the ball pretty well when there's people around him. Uh, but of course, he does drop it from time to time. But he's not the best. I wouldn't count on him to make a game-winning touchdown with people surrounding him to get into field goal range. Definitely wouldn't do that. But uh, like I said, he's decent catching and things like that. He didn't break many tackles for me, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. I'm so used to my tight ends just trucking people, running people over for first downs, and getting extra yards with after the catch, just breaking many tackles, and he just didn't do that for me, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. Uh, going for about 100,000 coins on the PlayStation 4 and about 80,000 on Xbox One, I think that's kind of hefty for a car like this. Uh, there's other cards in the game that are tight ends that I think are better. And I mentioned this before in my other tight end review. There are wide receivers who are better than some tight ends with the run blocking. They can catch. They have the speed. So there's no need, I think, to actually try and pick up this guy. Like I said, he doesn't break any tackles. He's a good catcher. Doesn't run block. I don't know what it is. He just was okay. And I couldn't get any red zone targets with this guy. Whenever I threw up the ball to him in the red zone, it was always getting knocked away. I feel like he's 6'5 with 94 jumping. He should be jumping over people and getting those red zone catches like a Jimmy Graham and things like that. So to be honest with you guys, I was kind of disappointed in his card. His speed was good. He did do drags and slant routes really well to get enough separation to get him the ball. But once I got him the ball... He didn't break any tackles, so I was really disappointed with this guy. I thought I would have been getting something better, but like I said, there's other tight ends that I go way cheaper than this and wide receivers that are cheaper that you could put in this position who would perform a lot better than this guy. So let me know what you guys think about that, if you guys use them and things like that. And to give this guy a review, honestly, I have to give them a 6 out of 10. Like I said, he was okay, but he just didn't do everything I needed him to do. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.